Minecraft 1.21 will have a lot of cool new features, and in this video I will show you more than 50 new things added in this update. Starting with the swamps, which in this version will have a new exclusive mob called Bog. This mob is a new skeleton variant that will spawn in both swamp biomes, and his ability is basically shooting poison arrows at enemies. Each arrow from this skeleton has a poison effect that lasts approximately 4 seconds and this is enough to cause a lot of damage, but even though it is a strong skeleton due to the advantage of poison, it has less life than a common skeleton. Besides the swamps, there is only one other place that the bog can spawn to and that is inside the caves in a new copper structure. And the name of this new copper structure is Trial Chambers. This new epic structure will be very large, will have several corridors and rooms and also several secrets for you to discover inside, like this super cool secret passage between rooms. Exploring the corridors of the structure, you can find several pots and barrels scattered around, and inside them there are several treasures to discover. And in the rooms of the structure, it is also possible to find chests with several different things. But you need to be very careful, because the places in this structure are full of a new spawner called Trial Spawner. And many different mobs will spawn in it, like every type of zombies, slimes, skeletons and spiders. But besides all these, the most interesting monster that will be born in the Trial Spawner is the new mob called Breeze. The Breeze is a hostile mob that attacks using gusts of wind. It doesn't do much damage but its attack can push the player away, and this can cause a lot of fall damage. The Breeze cannot be hit by any projectile, so don't try to use tridents or arrows against it, because that definitely won't work. The gusts of wind from this mob can activate doors, levers, trapdoors and bells which is a really cool detail. It's always good to see Mojang making mobs have more interactions with things in the game. But besides all that, the coolest thing about Breeze is its drop. After killing it you will get the item called Breeze Rod. And this can be used to craft another item called Wind Charge. This item is the power of Breeze. With it you can attack mobs and move them away from you. But it can also be used to do parkour and make very big jumps. This is definitely one of the coolest things about this update, but there is still much more. After you defeat all the mobs in a trial spawner, it may drop a key called a trial key. And using it, you can open a reward chest called a vault. The vault is spread throughout the trial chamber, so it won't be difficult to find and open it. Inside, it is possible to find many different items including new armor trims exclusive to this structure. This customizations are simply very beautiful, but the rarest and coolest thing you can find in the vault is the new item called Heavy Core. This item has a 2% chance of getting it, and can be used together with a breeze rod to make an entirely new weapon called a mace. The mace can deal area damage and the higher you are, the greater the damage will be when you fall and use it. This weapon deals so much damage that it is possible to kill a warden with just one hit if you fall from a great height. Okay, I think this is too OP, but moving on to the next new thing, now in the savanna we have armadillos. This little creature will also be able to spawn in Badlands biomes, it is a peaceful mob and is able to hide inside its shell whenever any creature approaches. You can make them follow you if you are holding a spider eye, and you can also feed it to them. But besides all this cuteness, this mob will be super useful, if you use the brush on it, you will get a new item called armadillo scute. After you collect enough, this item will be used to make armor for your wolf, something that the community has certainly been waiting for for years. And it is also possible to color the armor with dyes and make your wolves super beautiful. This wolf armor is so strong that it can withstand up to 3 creeper explosions, which is quite impressive, because before he would only die with one. And when the armor is breaking, it is possible to repair it using the armadillo scute. So now we can finally take our wolves on adventures without worrying about them dying. And speaking of adventure, you'll need to have a big one, because now there are 8 new types of wolves, and each species will be born in a different biome. It will definitely be great to travel the world to catch them all. I think after so much cool stuff, all that was left for Mojang was to add the copper and tough golem to the trial chambers, that would be incredible. Now the next big addition to the game is the new block called Crafter. This block will be a revolutionary thing for Minecraft, because it basically allows you to configure it to craft items automatically. 
You can literally craft all kinds of things with it and it's very satisfying to see it working. Okay, but how do I get the block in survival mode? To make the crafter block, you will need to use iron, a dropper, a crafting table, and redstone. This is a block that will be very easy to use, and can be used to do a lot of cool things, but I think that for those who like to tinker with redstone, it will be even more fun. We will definitely see the community doing incredible things. Now we have a new lamp block called copper bulb. To make this new block, it won't be so simple. You will need copper, blaze rods, and redstone. So basically, it's a block that can only be done when you are more advanced in your survival world. But it is something that many players will enjoy using because it is very beautiful for decorations. And there are four different variants of this block. We have the normal block, we have the exposed, weathered, and the oxidized version that turns completely green. And besides these blocks were beautiful, they also have unique functions. Each version of the block emits a level of light, and the more oxidized the block becomes it will emit lower levels of light, which is a pretty cool thing for different types of decorations. Also as you can see, the block stays on infinitely after being activated by a button and only turns off when the button is pressed again. If you use honey in these blocks, it is possible to lock them in the version they are in and thus they will never oxidize again. And if you use the axe, you can reverse the oxidation process and restore the block to its initial state. Another interesting thing is the sound that the block makes when activated. It looks like some kind of signal. And I think this can be used to do interesting things, like a car signal. Now a new copper set is another thing in this update. We have four new copper doors. Four new copper trapdoors. Four new copper grate blocks. And four new chiseled copper blocks. In addition, we also have a new tough set with lots of super beautiful blocks. We now have two new tough stairs. Three new tough slabs. Three new tough walls. And we also have several other super beautiful blocks that I just really enjoy using to build things. I literally spent several hours just admiring and playing with these blocks. I think they will be really cool for building towers and castles and other interesting things. This update will be very good for players who like redstone and decoration, and it will also please those who want adventure and combat. 